Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some more Tool today. After my first reaction, I was very blown away uh, by my introduction to Tool as a band. Really wasn't expecting the rush of support, first of all. Uh, the corrections, I famously said <laughs> Tool only had one album. That's what I thought. They have much more music than I um, anticipated. Uh, I was also told to only do um, the non-music video versions, so I'm aware of that. And I do know that certain songs and intros are supposed to be played with others. However, I haven't decided how exactly to go about filming the Tool content. I feel like longer format might be better. Uh, let me know what you think. Right now, my camera is not capable of like filming great long content um, form. So like that's why I'm kind of uh, breaking it up. So I'm going to just start with the pot today, as recommended by many of you. And leave me a comment on where I should go from here, what you think. Because uh, I don't want to screw something up in terms of order or misunderstanding the intention behind certain things. Okay, that's all out of the way. Quick reminder to go subscribe to Tool at their original channel, like their videos. If you haven't subscribed to me though, please consider doing so. Leave me a comment, I would love to hear from you. And um, consider joining my Patreon. Um, I If I do long format content, I might put up most of that there and then split it up for YouTube. I, I We'll see, we'll see. Okay, um, and I do have the lyrics pulled up here. So, The Pot, song by Tool. So we're gonna go back and forth. I'm eager. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. I hold deep in muddy waters. You practically raised the dead. Rob the grave to snow. Line. The way that first 50 seconds came together, vocals at the beginning with nothing, then some slight percussion on a, uh, a different kind of drum, I believe, and then and the layering effect of that whole thing. That was phenomenal. Um, I just want to look at the lyrics real quick. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out of your head. I hold deep in muddy waters. You practically raise the dead. So I hole beneath muddy waters, unable to comprehend and see what's actually going on. You practically practically raised the dead. Um, you started an apocalypse. You started a a movement of um, chaos, essentially. Huh. You know, I already get the sense here that I'm gonna completely fuck this up in terms of meaning, but that's got to be kind of the fun part from you guys watching, right? Be like. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, let's just keep going and I'll give you my interpretation and I'll, I'll see what you guys have to say.
want to catch up on the lyrics again. Um, it's very hard because I'm, I'm trying to comprehend what's actually happening at a musical level too. The amount of thought that's gone into certain instruments coming in at certain times. The, like I said, this compounding layering effect. It's really cool from like a percussion and like chord standpoint. Um, rob the grave to snow the cradle. Then burn the evidence down. Rob the grave to snow the cradle. Well, rob the grave, so taking from someone to snow the cradle. I don't know what snow the cradle means. But then burn the evidence down, cover your tracks, soapbox, house of cards, and glass. So, I mean, house of cards just reminds me of the show house of cards. So toppling down, maybe something political. Don't go tossing your stones around. Don't go looking for victims when there aren't any. You're the perpetrator. You must have been high. You must have been high. You must have been. So you've been out of your mind. Foot and mouth and head up, asshole. What you talking about? So again, you've got a foot in your mouth and your head, your brains are up your ass. You literally are stupid. What you talking about? Difficult to dance around this one till you pull it out, boy. You must have been so high. You must have been so high. Steal, borrow, refer, save your shady inference. So your inference is about what's going on in society or whatever's happening here in this instance are completely shady and not uh, rooted in reality. Kangaroo Dunn hung the juror with the innocent. Kangaroo Dunn hung the juror with innocent. Like a kangaroo... Um, what's that called? Kangaroo... Kangaroo court, right? I believe that means when essentially justice, just, justice is trying to be prevailed and um, it's just a bunch of people that don't know the facts that are in charge of accusing someone of something they're about to serve time for or whatever, whatever crime, like witch hunting essentially, but they don't have any evidence to back it up. Um, okay, I think that's what we're up to. Nuts, man, nuts. You guys were not kidding. Sick. I'm gonna go back here.
What the hell did I just listen to? <sighs> you wonder what legends of the past, right? Like acid rock legends like Cream, right? Clapton, people like that. What would they think of a super well-constructed from a foundational standpoint? Um, like that foundation is so impressive. I was just listening to like the thoughtfulness and the layering of all the instruments coming together there, the vocals coming in at certain points. Um, that's kind of what I understood about Tool coming in, and that's what I was saying, trying to explain myself last video. Like I knew that about them, um, that they're covered in this lore of like being very intentional with everything they do, and that's why I'm listening so hard. But um, I really have no idea what that song's about, other than the fact that someone's a massive hypocrite. I think that they're talking about society in general. Uh, kangaroo done hung the guilty with the innocent. Yeah, like essentially basically just attacking those who are perceived as the enemy or society's enemy without any so like real reason or evidence to back that up. So who are you to wave the, uh, the finger? You've got lemon juice up in your eye. When you pissed all over my black kettle, you must have been... I mean, like, there's obviously some some deep-rooted meaning here that I'm missing. Weeping shades of indigo. I mean, I just think of indigo as a dye, you know, um, Silk Road dye. Um, traded, you know, Atlantic slave trade, really. That's all I think about indigo um, from a historical standpoint. Liar, lawyer, mere for you, what's the difference? Okay, so essentially, you're a liar, you've lawyered up, look in the mirror for you, what's the difference, right? You are just as bad as those you're persecuting. Eyeballs deep in muddy waters, your balls deep in muddy waters, ganja please, ganja weed, you must have been out of your mind. Essentially, you are so high in your thought process, you're so out of it, and detached from what's actually happening in reality and happening to real people from your ivory tower that your your cast of judgment against us is just completely false um that's my best guess now what i can say is that's a 10 out of 10 song in terms of just sound quality the distortion that was brought in throughout the frequency changes i'm trying to understand all these comments that spiral out man and um, I'm trying to see how it all fits together. It's basically like watching a movie from backwards to forwards at this point because um, I think I need to start at the beginning. This is what's becoming more evident. Um, thank you if you stuck around here. I feel like this is a song worth talking about in a band that's worth talking about instead of just like blindly like listening to the whole thing and then saying, so that's why I do pause and kind of ramble. And I'm sorry if that bothers you, but it's just my style. I appreciate you coming here. I appreciate you fans, and I will see you in the next one.